Hey there guys, welcome to Tech Engineered. My name is Andrew, and today we are gonna be doing a tour of my desk setup. So come along for the ride. To start off, let's talk about my computer, which is kind of the heart of my desk setup. This computer is an X99 workstation with 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, an Intel i7-6800K, and a GTX 1060. If you'd like to know more about it, I will leave a card up at the top right hand corner of the screen where you can check out a video showcasing just the computer. But for now, we're going to move on to another component of my desk setup since I've already made a video on my computer. My monitor setup is an ultra-wide 25-inch LG monitor and a Asus 16x9 kind of generic monitor that I have in portrait mode. And I really like this monitor setup for productivity because I can kind of do a triple monitor setup splitting the ultra-wide into two kind of square monitors and have a web page reading out on the other one, or I do my Discord and my Spotify while I'm playing games on the portrait, one above the other. And yeah, I just really like this monitor setup. It's very non-standard, but it really fits my workloads and my personal preferences. I use a Logitech G710 Plus keyboard with the Cherry MX Brown switches, and really I wouldn't use any other keyboard. I love this keyboard, and I've used it for a long time, and I will use it into the future. For my mouse, I use a G600 and sometimes a G100S, but the G600 really is my favorite mouse. I like that it's big, and I kind of have big hands, so it just fits my hand a lot better than the G100S. However, when I'm playing first-person shooter games, the G100S is pretty nice. My microphone is a Blue Yeti, and that is what you're hearing me on right now. I run it into my camera to shoot these videos, but I use that for all my audio stuff. I plug my headphones into it and use the preamp on it to power my headphones, and that has worked out really great, and that is something that I would recommend to other people because you can really get a good sound out of a nice pair of headphones plugging them into the Blue Yeti microphone. My headphones are HyperX Clouds, the original ones that are analog, not the USB ones that came out later, and I like that because I can plug them into my Yeti microphone, and they're a really nice pair of headphones. Um, they're a little bit more of a neutral soundscape than most gaming headphones are. Most gaming headphones kind of dig really deep into the bass frequencies, but I like that they're a little bit more neutral. They do have a little bit more bassy tendencies, but I kind of like that. But still, they are neutral, so they work well as editing headphones and also gaming headphones. They're just kind of a good all-purpose set of headphones. I also use a generic pair of Logitech desktop speakers just if I want to play something out loud, listen to music, watch a video, and I don't want to use headphones or earbuds, then I can use those. So those aren't really much to talk about. I don't have like studio monitors or anything, but those do the job of getting audio out of my computer and into my ears if I don't want to use my headphones. The desk mat that I use, I can't even remember the name of it. It was something super generic that I got on Amazon that has like two phone stands. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Um, so far, I've really liked it. It's nice and big and it covers my entire desk. And yeah, if you guys want to check that out, link down in the description below. My charging setup is a USB hub inside the drawer directly under my desk. And that runs into a wall outlet adapter thing. And I really like this charging setup because it allows me to have all different plugs kind of organized in there. So I can just lay my device in the drawer, plug it in, and it just kind of sits in there and charges so I don't have to have cables running everywhere charging my things. It's just all nice and organized and I've zip tied some of the cables that I don't need all the full length of so they're nice and tidy 
And yeah, it's just a really good setup and I'm pretty proud of it. And it's easy to unplug and take with me if I'm traveling and then I know I have all of my connectors that I need to charge all of my devices. To the side of my desk, I do have a bookshelf. You can't really see it, but it kind of extends out my desk space and it also allows me to store stuff right there on the edge of my desk. And it kind of goes into my closet, but it's a really effective use of space and I enjoy having it there. Um, since I am in a tight little dorm room, you need to make use of all the space you can and I really think that that bookshelf really helps with that and adds a lot of storage space and also some room on my desk to lay things while I'm working. Another thing to mention is that I do share this desk with my roommate. We basically have one giant desk that goes across the entire room and that's a pretty cool setup because we can kind of just have like all of the space that we ever need and I've done chemistry labs with my lab partner using all of this like counter space that we've effectively made and yeah it's a really cool setup just having one giant desk for two people. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little look into my desk setup and if you did go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you enjoy the content on this channel go ahead and subscribe. If you have advice for future content that can be made here go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.